Alright. Killing predators with Kerrigan. I know what I said. It's more correct than the challenge. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Falky. I really appreciate it. Alright, first things first, let's get a second orbital command on the way. Because I did the math during Pacifist, and you can afford two orbitals, and you will, like, barely mine out on this mission, assuming you drop your mules correctly. And we're gonna need tanks. Recharge time is pretty fast, so don't hesitate to use it. These guys head over here. These guys head over here. Oh yeah, I don't have the good bunker upgrade, do I? That's not really ideal. And then I need another factory, most likely. So, I'm gonna try to kill the first Kerrigan with this. But I'm not going to guarantee that it's possible. We might have to kill later Kerrigans, because I also have to be able to deal with... There's no way that Predators are good against the Nidases, right? Like, no way in... I'll try it. Because if I could build them and use them to fight the Nidases as well, that would be really good. It would actually make them worthwhile. Oh, uh, we'll see. These here, these here. Infantry in. That's why it's called infantry, not outfantry. Your forces are under attack. SCB ready. And then SCB ready. Starport, get tech reactor on it. I'm gonna need like eight Your tanks before I can build anything attack. else. There's no way. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of these medics and these medics. They're a waste of supply. And we got pretty good saturation here. So we'll go bunker, bunker, and siege on up. What's that tank doing? Don't care. I have three banshees for the initial hunting. Add on complete. And more tanks. Oh no, we're getting busted already. Oh jeez, those bunkers are bad, man. Your forces are under attack. Base is under attack. And of course, Lab Rat, the composition is only drone. We all knew that was gonna happen. No surprises there. Not really any other options, really. I knew from day one, Finlay, don't worry, that it was going to be drone only lab rat. That's just how it works. I've been around the block before. I might need to go engineering bays instead. This might be a big problem, it is just like pure NG bay tank. But then I won't have the gas. Okay, we're firing off the thing. These bunkers. Ugh. If I can get enough tanks up, I can probably fight it. My big problem with the Predators is that they cost a bunch of supply. They cost three supply a piece, which makes me think I'm not actually going to be able to afford them to beat Kerrigan. But I'm starting their production. There we go. And then we shift Q that, that, we head over here, uncloak, and pull back. Your forces are under attack. Okay, predators. Oh, I'm supply blocked. Complete. Told you they cost a lot of supply. Instantly start building them and get supply blocked. When does the first Kerrigan come? Is it about 35%? Those are fine. Yeah, I think that if I ever lose a bunker, I'm just replacing it with the power of the eBay. 
It's just better. Need one more bunk. Oh, this is gonna suck, isn't it? I know this is gonna go terribly. I'm so... Uh, here comes the next wave. Warning. Seismic disturbance detected. Nidus worm inbound. Base is under attack. Okay, that one could probably be dealt with by the Predators, so Banshees come this way, do the cloak thing, and wait for a little more predation. How long do these take to build? 40 seconds. Oof. And that one didn't die, which is pretty bad. Base is under attack. The artifact's energy nova is fully recharged. Ooh, they popped out. Oh, that's really bad as well. I have a lot of upgrades to be getting right now. They all cost gas. I have all the gas income that I can get, but it's not that much. One banshee. Oh, my friends, this is not going to work. Upgrade complete. I already feel the death. It is coming. Washing over me like a tide of, of death. All right. Give it a go. She's coming from the correct side, which is good. I can fire off the big bopper blast, and that should help. This is 8, 15, so that's 45 supply worth of predators. Forty-five supply worth of predators. Seismic disturbance detected. Nidus worm inbound. Upgrade complete. Hey, they got her to go home. We've driven her back. And now I die because I can't stop the wave of Nidus worms. Base is under attack. Hmm. Let's see if we can snipe this. If predators could burrow, they'd be really good. <laughs> no, they wouldn't. They'd be slightly better in this circumstance. Yeah, guys, there's... I'm pretty sure there's not enough supply to be able to defend and fight the Nidus Worms and build predators. It's just... I'm going to keep trying, but I don't see how to do this. Unless I can just fire off the Nova on cooldown or something? The tank count is doing well. Maybe I can try sacking some of these SCVs because I don't need the minerals anymore. Base is under attack. Our SCVs are under attack. Base is under attack. Our SCVs. If these are were under perditions, attack. would it help? Oh my gosh, that's so much. Upgrade complete. I don't even have 3 3 going on for my. Back here. Base is under attack. Nope. Oh. Twelve seconds until we can fire off the Nova again. Sir, I'm picking up a mass of overlords heading your way. Ready your air defenses. I'll try my best, Matthew. The artifact's energy nova is fully This area is doing great. It's just infinite stuff. <laughs> oh goodness. Stop the overlord thing. Hopefully this will help. We gotta target these down. Big wave from over there. Your forces are under attack. SCV 
Movies are burning. No, I can't, I can't send them on the map. They don't. And last time I had, what, 15? And I can't even get up to 15. For the next Kerrigan. Yeah, this is not possible, sorry. Uh, we need a different thing. I literally can't build Predators fast enough with the money I have. Yeah, they cost 100 gas. That's why I couldn't afford anything. No, they're 100 gas and 3 supply. They're just, they're horrible. They're the worst unit in the game by far. Guys, pick something that's possible. If you're just going to pick stuff that's literally impossible, then we're just going to have a miserable day. <laughs> pick something that's difficult but possible. Please. What a great name. Thank you for the th three more gift subs. And uh, Romulus Magus as well. How do we know if it's Paul? I mean, common sense. When you pick objectively the worst unit in the game, then it's not going to be possible. If you pick only landed Vikings, it's not going to work. Like, you need the ability to actually shoot ground and deal with Nidus Worms on this mission. Nothing else is going to work. It's just one of those things that... There's very little flexibility on this mission as because of the way that it is designed. You have to have a lot of supply dedicated to defense. What are Predators intended for design-wise? What are they supposed to be good at? Um, uh, killing Zerglings? I don't know. I think, I think they're a Zergling killer. Yeah, if the, if the opponent sent like 700 Zerglings, you know what, while we're waiting for this pull, let's check. Where they have it fight? Yeah, look at that, so many Zerglings. If Kerrigan only knew how to send Zerglings, this would be so easy. Wouldn't it? That'd be great. It's really a shame that Banelings and Ultralisks exist, and Roaches, and Hydralisks, and Infestors, and Ravagers, and Broodlords, and Mutas, and Overlords, and Overseers. All right, so the things that are being voted on currently are Marine BC or StarCraft 1 units only. Seem to be the two leaders of the pack. Why is Hivemind Emulator plus Raven on there? Have we not learned the lesson of gas? There's only three gas geysers on that mission. It's not very much. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's not the chat that's not learning. The chat's actually not voting for it. The real question is, why do the mods keep putting it on the polls when you have three gas geysers? <laughs> yeah, you can keep saying Firebat Wraith, but it's not going to happen because that you literally couldn't kill Ultralisks with that. There's just no way. All right, so crushing it was Marine BC. We'll give that a go. We're going to need those marine upgrades ASAP. We're going to need Johnny Planetary. Not Planetary, but whatever that's called. Another orbital. Alright, another one the of these. The and another one of these. Fast, so don't to use I'm a little bit concerned. It's The Shrike so turret's really, really been messing me over. That's part of the big problem. I'll have the Banshees for the very early bits, which will be good. <clears throat> I don't like that bunker one bit. I have every upgrade for it, and it just feels horrible. these in position. BC over here. BC over here. Then 
Maybe I want to bust that down so I can build bar or bunkers better. Hmm. Or maybe eBay's and. SCV ready. Add on complete. Add on complete. I think I'm going to go like 42 supply over here. How did I do this in Marines only? I don't even remember. I remember that it was horribly close. And I think we got to go engineering base. Oh, did I have planetaries in that? I might have planetaries. No, I stopped using planetaries in that run at some point. I had better research, that is true. Your forces base under is under attack. SCV ready. I think this will be okay though. It's not gonna be super clean. Oh gosh, it got broken already. Oh the Hydras. Your forces are under attack. Let's pull the tank back a little bit. Oh, okay. We can sell this, get all these guys on this side, get the tank back. Build this right here. And have the SCVs heading over here and over here. Split the production. And I cannot afford ABCs. That's a bit unfortunate. Please don't kill this. I really need it. Alright, cool. Engineering bays are just better than monkers. <laughs> In all ways, shapes, and forms. It's not even close. Best unit in the game. Here comes the scary guys. Bill Nidus, the science guide us. Nice spawns weren't bad. Banshees are probably going to start dying pretty soon. That's fine with me because I want to be in a BC comp anyway. I start bleeding that stuff off fairly early. SCVs, you're going to heal. There we go. Just required a little bit of manual control. Trying to save my explodey for Kerrigan. BCs are slow, but they're pretty good at pushing. They're not vulnerable like the Banshees are, which is great. SCV ready. SCV ready. Upgrade. This better be good. I'm gonna Upgrade complete. Plus three attack and plus three attack SCV on the way. Go, go, go. Means SCV all my gas ready. can be used for actual useful stuff pretty soon. You gonna give me There's another wave. Seismic disturbance detected. Oh, nice. These are great positions. Cool, cool, cool. So we help hold against this initial wave, and then the BCs can split up and start taking things off. Or, no, they're not stripping. <laughs> taking enemies down? Sorry, I live in Portland. There's a strip club Base literally on every street, so sometimes you just say dumb stuff and you end up admitting that everybody here is a stripper. All that supply is tanking. Oh, I had a bunch of guys on follow. Oh no.
Reinforce on this side has been pretty devastated. We'll build reinforcements. We'll send the BCs over here to defend for a bit. And here comes Kerrigan. I think first Kerrigan's going to suck. I'm going to lose a lot. Tired of working through others. It's time I took a personal hand in your demise. Probably going to have to use the BCs for it. Fire Mr. Explody. Oh no, Mr. Tank. That's not a good loss. One BC, one tank. That's okay. That's okay. You'll regret that. We've driven her back. Keep it up. Nices are active. I actually think that losing that tank might have been the most important thing that's happened in this game. And if I lose, I'm gonna blame it on that. I can't build anymore. Dude, go repair your engineering bays! Come on. <sighs> yeah, okay, getting a bit overwhelmed here. We're so slow. Repair your NG bays, please. Target that one down. Supplies dropping. How's this area doing? It's doing all right still. Not great, but somewhat alive. How did- No! Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, I hate these slow units! Oh, I fired it on him. Oh, guy. I just can't be anywhere. Like, I don't know how you got- I'm supposed to kill all these Nidases. I guess I don't? Do I have to just sit there and let the Nidases- No, but I can't- Oh, this is going to be one of those days, isn't it? Where people just keep picking these things that require me to kill infinity units with nothing. No, seriously, how did I do this with Marines only? What did I do against... Did I fight against air? I must have fought against air. Because... All in ground is just so many units. It's the same exact thing. You can, it's the missions with that I'm required to go tanks. And I don't get tanks. Hmm. Guys, if we go tanks only, then we can't kill the Nidus. Come on. <laughs> we need we need the ability to remember more than three seconds into the past. <laughs> what do you think I'm going to do against the infinity Nidus's if I build only tanks? <laughs> uh... People... Tanks and Doom Drop Marine. I don't have Hercules. Because <laughs> I have the freaking Predator. I can't get Predators, guys. Stop mentioning them. We went through this earlier. Please pay attention. Oh my god. I hate... It can't. We can't drop the Predator thing. So that we can go do Predators. That's not how it works. <sighs> like, the... 
I could go back and do the air version. I can tell you with 100% certainty I could do this composition on the air version. If that is what people would like me to do. Because I just, I can't deal, I literally don't have the DPS to deal with the unit spawns on this version. There's too much HP. Okay, people seem to be saying yes, we can go do that. That is not a problem. Okay, end game. Load. Shout of the sky. Char decision. No problem. We're going to have to go to Belly of the Beast. Actually, what we could do is open up this. I have this somewhere. Boom, boom, boom. Quick campaign. Load, please. There we go. All right, now we're on all in air, and we have money to spend. So let's figure that out. It seems my faith. We're going armory base. We had that. We had that. And then... Don't need any of those. What do we start with? We start with these. I guess we can get the upgrades for the things that we started with. I had that. I had that. And what else did I have? Oh, I just got the garbage upgrade. Well, <laughs> that's a waste of money, whatever. Doesn't matter. None of those matter. Okay. Okay. And then we can go mercenaries, we have war pigs, we're gonna get Jackson. And research. I can build a single fire bat for you, yeah, no problem. Orbital strike, we had the raven, we had that, we had that, that. Uh, we had shrike turrets. And perditions, predators, cellular reactor, and hive mind. Yeah, not having, it's, there's a whole bunch of tools that make this mission a lot easier, and I just don't have any of them. The side disruptor, really good. Uh, being able to build tanks, really good. <laughs> there's just a couple things, planetary is really good. But when you lack all of those, life becomes a lot more difficult. Commander, the Zerg will try to overrun us soon. You should build bunkers and train more units as soon as possible. I know I should build bunkers, Matt, but I'm not going Things to because I have Shrike Turret. Maybe I will. I think that Shrike Turret bunkers are going to be better here. Fast, so don't hesitate to use it. Oh yeah, I did do all-in versus air. I remember now because I had to do that stupid baiting thing where they'd like walk over here, then I'd have to get up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good times. Oh yeah, those are the memories. It's all coming back to me now. We're going to saturate that real high. These guys in here. Pull the tanks back a little bit for safety's sake. And then we're going to have to get starport upgrades. I'm going to try to use the BCs to fight all the flying units that don't come from the edges. Yeah, I had too many orbital commands on that mission because I mined out. <laughs> That's why, that run was actually why I did the math to figure out how many you can actually afford, and it turns out the answer is two. Anything more than that, you're going to mine out. You just get the money more early. So BCs are here. Stack defense is way more powerful on this version because... We have something, I don't remember what we have. Oh yeah, missile turrets. Missile turrets are actually good, as opposed to trike turret bunkers. Uh, this is the thing we gotta take out. One, two, three, four. Please don't kill this. 
perfect, thank you. I don't know why I thank the enemy for not murdering me at times. I'll fire this off real quick so I can get these bunkers active. Oh, or I can just kill my own BC, one of the two. Toss that bad boy down. And then we have to get that one fire bat for our friend. Oh, he can... He can be there. And he will lead the charge versus Kerrigan. As he should. Forces are under attack. Base is under attack. Upgrade complete. Oh, hello. That is a lot of stuff. Upgrade okay, we're pretty good in terms of mining SCVs. Your forces are under attack. Just protecting that area. I don't know when they attack me from behind, Base and is under attack. if I continue to not know, then they will hit me when I'm not prepared. So I'm just going to blindly build those. What is it? My bio count is very, very low. Oh, really? Been way down marauder in here, marauder in here. Here's the fire bat. We'll put him in the bunker. Nope. We'll keep him out. Heads up, sir. I'm detecting a large group of Zerg flyers. First set of fly boys on the way. We got D-Matrix. That should be good if I have learned anything from Giant Grant Games' no-build video. I don't know if you've heard of him. Might have another video coming out uh, in the next week about Heart of the Swarm, no production. That'll be fun. Keep the fire bat alive. Okay. Uh, he can guard over here, then. Whoa! Hi. Who are you? How did you get there? Base is under attack. Go, go, go. Yep. Upgrade complete. And I'm almost maxed out on marineage. Alright, these guys are getting a bit annoying. The artifact's energy nova is fully recharged. Is under attack. Where's Karagum? Still lacking a lot of SCVs. I only have 56. And 56 is a decent number. Sir, we're tracking a large number of Zerg flyers coming. Oh, that's not Kerrigan. I find this version of the mission super relaxing comparatively. I don't know if anyone else does. But the Nidus worms are just a lot more stressful than the other stuff. And that's just objective fact. Let's fire missile pods. Oh yeah, what a good waste of energy that was. <laughs> Who needs energy when you have missile pods? Your forces are under Base attack. Is under attack. Armed and ready. Base Our SCVs are under attack. Get him in. Maybe this should be down more. Yeah, probably. Not that I can really change it at this point in time. We've got eight BCs. We're going to have two, two in a sack. Then we can get three, three. That area just needs a lot more workers. Alert. Class 12 psionic waveform detected. The Queen of Blades is inbound. Tired of working through others. It's time I took a personal hand in your demise. All right, blow up the Nova. Stim to win, go get her. Look at how much easier it is with you know twenty Marines than fifteen Predators, despite being a fraction of the cost. We've driven her back. Keep it up. What a bad unit. I really wish it was good. I genuinely do, guys. It's just, it's so, it's beyond mean tier, you know? Like, 
Because when you have a meme, you should have some version of a dream that can go with it. But the Predator is just a nightmare. It's so bad that it didn't get a unit in co-op. Which every unit gets some type of good version in co-op. What I change on the Predator to make it better? Uh, make it 50 gas, that'd be a good one. Give it immunity to Baneling explosions would be a really nice way to make it a bit more useful. I'd be a big fan of that so it could actually charge forward. Uh, the big problem is that you are a faction of no melee units. Every Terran unit is basic, is ranged in some way. And then you throw the Predator in, which is melee, and it's just always going to die. Melee units have to either be insanely tanky or ex insanely uh, exposable. Nothing else works. Or er, not exposable. Uh, disposable. <laughs> you don't you don't have to write an expose on your melee units to make them good. Base is under attack. Upgrade All right, we're gonna get two BCs that are gonna hang out back here. We're gonna make sure that this guy does not die. Firebat's gonna keep them safe while the two BCs come on over. That guy's got like a crystal through him. Look kind of bad. Looks painful. Ooh, Broodlord. Oh, this is gonna be where it gets a bit iffy. Upgrade complete. Base is under attack. Finish that off. Let's build this bunker in a more swept back position. Upgrade. Sir, I'm picking up a mass of overlords heading your way. Ready your air defenses. The artifact's energy nova is fully recharged. Not really in the mood to die over there, so I'm not going to. Uh, let's see if we can take this out without uh, having to burn the artifact. That would be good. Base is under attack. I'm just gonna put. I, I need to stop them from pathing this way, but I'm not sure how. I think this engineering bay is going to die, but I'm going to try. Same sats, but costed no gas and had to jump like the hot sling. That would be pretty cool. I would like that. It'd be definitely worth playing with. Kerrigan numero two. Scour you all from my world. Upgrade complete. Get him, Shrike turrets. Nope. Oh, rest in peace, tank. Alright, I'll take it. Pour it on, troops. I'm on it. I'm gonna have to get a lot more barracks now. on their way to you, sir. Maybe I just need one over here. Yeah. Trying to just make sure my supply goes in all the right places. I'll get lots of racks so that I can fairly easily reinforce because Kerrigans after this are going to kill everything that I've ever loved. I'm really digging the D-Matrix upgrade, by the way. Like, it has very, very quickly become one of my favorites. It's probably better to just Yamato stuff, but I like it. Lots of Zerg flyers oh, we're going to get double teamed. Oh, that's not bad. Wish it was cheaper. Yeah, that would definitely be cool. So Corruptors are starting to be here. Broodlords are still in position. We have one guy just chilling out, repairing these stuff. Uh, Firebat has seven kills, and he's going to have to retreat over here. 
We might have to build him a house, actually. Oh, that was a double click. Uh-oh. Big waste of energy right there. I can probably recover. It's not the end of the world, but it definitely sucks. Okay, this Broodlord needs to fire a mod out here and then pull back. These guys need to deal with the Brood over here. That guy is not dead. <gasps> oh no! A drop pod! Oh, he got cooked. He got goosed. I'm so sorry. I wanted to keep him alive. This is now the Jonathan J. Firebatten Honorary Memorial House. It is, where it is now going to be converted into a museum that is open and free to the public so that they can learn of the great exploits of Mr. Firebat himself. Integral to Char's development and history in the early days. You never would have expected that it would become such a developed and beautiful colony, largely due to the things that he did. However, he was the beginning. He was a pioneer, a trendsetter. And for that... He died. He also reminded me to move my tanks away. Ah, crap. That's bad. Please don't have another one. Uh, well, you know what? That's fine. Get back in, boys. We have defending to do. Lots of Zerg flyers on their way to you, sir. I can't believe that 1BC is holding off the back on Brutal so well. I could have sworn that it would be harder than that. I'm barely paying attention to this guy. Marines are out. Put him in their little hole. Uh, losing SCVs on that side isn't good. Ooh, that is a big wave. This is a big wave, too. Many waves are large at the same time. Double Brood over here is not doing too much damage. However, it is going to whittle me down resource-wise. We're going to grab a couple of these and bring them on over. And we're going to start getting some big boy turrets. Oh, I forgot about him. Uh, it should be okay. Right? And it's headed your way. I don't have the energy nova available. I do have a lot of turrets. Let me see. What can we get done? I think we just have to dive it and try to take it out real quick. It's got a lot of HP on Brutal. 3,000. I don't have any ravens this time. Yeah, I took 80 Marines against this guy on Brutal, or on Marines only, and it worked out okay. I actually think that the battle cruisers are worse than just having Marines. <laughs> by a long shot. But that's like the addition to the challenge, right? They make a couple things a little bit easier, but for the most part... BCs suck. Especially in Wings. They're pretty good nowadays. But back then, they were just... They were a joke. Get a son, Firebat Jr. Okay. Firebat Jr. is going to go move into the old family home. It's going to be a bit traumatic for him, but it's okay. He loved his father, and he will honor his memory. Ooh! Here he is. Class 12 
Okay, we got a Kerrigan again. Second to last one. You fools. You are playing with forces beyond your comprehension. Pull these back. Yeah, if I just had a million billion Marines to fight the Kerrigans, I'd feel more confident. Hey, nice shot, Kerrigan. Thank you. Raise a swarm up there, you idiot. Queen of Blades, more like Queen of... Ah, oh, crap. Well, that was a good Razor Sword. Hey! Oh, man. Let's keep the pressure on. He did it. Dude, that guy just killed Kerrigan on his own. What a legend! One remaining Marine. The steadfast survivor. He steaded and he did it really quickly. I don't know what steading is, but I'm impressed by his ability too. That was his catchphrase. He always said, better stead than dead. What the heck am I talking about? <laughs> Sometimes I just lose the plot while I'm playing. <laughs> Sir, we're tracking a large number of Zerg flyers coming your way. Large Zerg of number flyers. Am I okay, Grant? No, I'm never okay, Grant. Where's my barracks? Oh, here he is. Okay. Looks like some turrets are going to die today. You ever seen the warnings that no turrets were harmed, harmed in the making of this film? It's a lie. Oh, what are you doing? Yeah, just come on to that guy, I guess. Lots of Zerg flyers on their way to you, sir. Oh, <gasps> he killed some. Oh, dude, he's actually helping. Look at that. Batter is taking a lot of pressure. How are you doing? You're doing all right. We can send BC to take this guy down. So he's back over here for defense. How long does it take to? Okay, we need more BCs back here. Base is our under SCVs are under attack. In the rear with the gear. Firebot's doing his job. He's actually Just legitimately very helpful. Lots of Zerg flyers this isn't on good. the way to you, sir. The artifact's energy nova is fully recharged. Oh gosh. That side's fine. Pull these guys off. We don't need guys on minerals anymore. We don't get, need guys on money. Pop these out. Just try not to lose the back. Guardian of the mineral line himself. How many kills does he have? Four. Nice. Here comes final boss, Kerrigan. She went down bottom four times, which is really good. Because I have more marines stationed in that area. Really helpful, Kerrigan. Very cool. Our SCVs are under attack. Base is under attack. Uh, let's try to fire a model volley on her. Base oh, this isn't good. Attack. We gotta pull everything to the mid now. Oh, she's so bad against... Or rather, she's so good against BCs. She does not care at all. That's all my Yamatos. But we got it. 